Sí. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. Gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. Hmm. Nothing's changed today either. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. And why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg-like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality. its operating limit. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? The last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... Can't be. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the Sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. 
It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel. This is bad. The Sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. Now that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about, but their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. Many cars. Where in the world am I? This isn't America. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about, just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel Sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform but appears to have a girl's haircut. Hmm. Huh? The hell are you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like... I've finally gone crazy. You wanna see crazy? Hey, stop! What is this room? Oh, hold on, I think I remember. Some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag. This doesn't look like a detention facility. Either I'm still seeing things, or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab.
box-shaped Technicolor projection device. The Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Huh? It's about baseball. I'm not in a military base, am I? A box-shaped Technosense, but that's high. Huh? It's about... I'm not in a military... B it's a calendar. 1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. It's a calendar. Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. Math. Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. This can't be right. 1945. The year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945. That's this year. August 6th. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs? What is this book? 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait, what did that calendar say? 1985. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Could it really be? You okay? Here. <laughs> it's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. So you... helped me? Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you had knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, alright? You haven't missed a day.